Darcy Blues, mighty. The belly of the beast. The Nike factory outlet store. <laughs> what's going on with the, um, what's going on with the lights, man? Let me peek through that. What's, what's going on with the swoosh, man? It ain't orange today. They don't took the. They don't, look at that zoom on that Samsung boy. Look at that zoom. But they don't took the got like I don't know. They don't took the, the cover off of it. Got like string lights on it or something. That don't look right. Bam. There we go. So anyway, what it is? I make sure I'm right. What it is, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed. Day today, man. Today, as you can see, we are at the Nike factory outlet store. And why is he, why is he looking directly at me while I'm recording? He's like fixed in. Okay, you're looking down now. Okay. I, I wasn't going to be able to focus with him just looking right. He's like looking right in my eyes from across the uh, parking lot. Um. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I was supposed to do this vlog on Black Friday, but traffic said otherwise. And I wasn't going to take two hours to drive to the outlet. And I wasn't even really trying to shop like that. I'm trying to do a vlog for y'all and see what they got going on, man. So, um, last few outings at the outlet, they done had some stuff. They had some retros and stuff like that sitting. So, we gonna wonder, I wonder if Black Friday kind of like cleaned them out or did they get some restocks and stuff. Sometimes they save restocks and B-grade restocks and all that stuff for Black Friday. So, see if they got some stragglers left over in here. Uh, just got off work, tired like Clyde, the Glide Drexler, but I'm finna make it happen for Rich Nation, you feel me? So anyway, without further ado, let's see what's going on in the Nike factory outlet store. Like I said, man, I don't know what's going on with the lights today. Um, they finna try something new, or they redoing it, or something like that, I have no idea. And I promise you, like, if Buddy didn't break eye contact, it probably was gonna be a problem. Anyway, Nike factory outlet store. First thing we see is some Air Jordan nothings, but we're we gonna move past that. So it seems like these off-white, these off-white Air Force Ones have become just a staple in the community. They're not going nowhere. They have a residency in the Nike factory outlet store. We ain't gonna see them leave no time soon. Oh my God. Oh my God. The pain in my chest right now. It was only a matter of time, man. It was only a matter of time before these hit outlets. For the 159. Ooh, look at the Ant Bear Stumpers I got on. Uh 159 for the Chambray Sevens. I paid a full price. One of my most anticipated. Actually, when I did my top 10, well not my top 10, but when I was having a conversation about some of the best kicks in the year, this would have definitely been on there, man. This I was really looking forward to this shoe. And here they are in the outlets. Apparently, I was one one of the few that was looking forward to these guys, bro, because y'all ain't y'all don't care. Also the infrareds, which I don't even see these in the mall like that no more. They like sold out and a lot of stores but that doesn't mean that they're safe from the nike outlet for the 159 here you talking about damn sevens damn man this gonna make nike not want to make sevens that ain't true because they these air jordan nothings ain't selling they keep making them well, i'm trying to navigate my way through this loud mary j black they got playing in here they got the uh pink cookies in a plastic bag air jordan 2 <laughs> low going on in here picnic table guys actually they made that bad to me i don't know they kind of clean talking about making a night to remember she made it a song to remember that, that song took forever to go off anyway uh these was clean as hell these uh gray and white air jordan two guys with the little vintage action going on for 139 man and they got the mobs got the mobs these are stable in the community too these sevens these afro beat guys i like them but they are stable in the community have residency in the Nike outlet factory store. And these are uh, mauve guys. Not surprised these went to the outlets either though. Y'all tell me what you think about this little Jordan lineup that they got going. Them sevens is breaking my heart. Here you talking about. Let me go over here and we got some Baltic blue corduroy, uh, plethora of those, Air Max ones. We got some LeBron, uh, Zoom generation. A couple of, couple of them guys. So you got some of these quick strike Hello Kitties left. Oh, they don't mess the box up, man. It would have been dope if they would have kept the box intact with the little Hello Kitty shawty. Um, $79 plus 30% off. So you can get these for a good little price. This I can wear 11 and press those too, but I, I can't do no Hello Kitty guy. I never actually looked at these, bro, because I just know I won't buy them. 
I love Presto, but I know I won't get these, but these look crazy. They would have did a Super Mario Brothers or something. I might have been down with it, man. But Hello Kitty has never... Number one, ain't it for girls? I don't know. Is it for girls? Um, but I know it's for kids. Like, ain't never really been a thing, but they could, these aim in only adult sizes. That's the crazy part about it. So maybe it ain't for kids. I don't know. God let me know. I, I, I didn't know the back was made like this, though. That's real dope. I ain't gonna lie. That's that's kind of creative that they did that. And the whole shoe, like I said, it kind of reminded me of Super Mario. They did that. Tom and Jerry, even. Like, some from my childhood, for real. I probably would have messed with it, but... Because I love Presto, but these Hello Kitties, man. They just... they just. I, can't, I just can't see no grown man walking around with Hello Kitty Prestos on. That's just me, though, man. No knock to anybody that got them, but... That's just me. You feel me? So it looked like the uh, Jordan 1 the Elephant Print shipment finally made it to the Nike outlet. We knew it was coming. They got plethoras upon plethoras of them guys. Also... They got this yellow, uh, off-white um, Air Force One. Trying to get some residency in here. I like the box. It's kind of crazy looking. Got a lot of bright colors. Remind me of Super Mario Brothers too. <laughs> they got an elephant foot, gigantic size 18 of these Jordan 13s right here. So when the shoe gets so big, the shape just start looking distorted. Like, it's like too much materials or something. <laughs> I must say, we knew this was coming. Um, Royal reimagines uh, in the outlet 180 30% off guys I didn't see this coming though they got the uh, what's this the FAMU LeBron 7's in that it thing it's 150 on the sticker plus 30% off and it's a size 9.5 way too small for me this is my size for that price I would have caught the um, whoa 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Boy, this boy got the uh, black cement twos. This is a size 10 and a half. I guess retail plus 30% off for these right here. Um, see what my thumbnail is going to be. Wow. So, I don't know. Let me know what y'all are thinking. Because I'm actually kind of surprised. It had to be a return or something like this. Only one pair. But um, this had to be like a return or something. Um, these are clean though. This is, this shoe isn't gonna be in my top ten of the year, and they sitting in the outlets, man. They sitting in the outlets, man. One pair, like I said, they don't have like a. I showed y'all the ones up front. They had, they got multiple pairs in, but they got a Terminator Tuskegee. Got didn't these just come out not too long ago? It was on like sneakers out or something like that. I don't know. Let me know. Some Dunk Low Premiums right here. Corduroy guys. Got some ATL Air Force Ones right there. I still got a few pair of these IE lows. These got some stains on them. Somebody wore them to the club and they just thought they're going to have them bring them up to the outlets. Or maybe a lot of hands just been touching them or something because these been sitting here for a minute. I also got a size 1000, AKA 17 in the blue. I'm not even going to pull those out because y'all know what they look like. They up here too. So, and this is a size 11 right here. So. Yeah, man. So anyway, that was the Nike factory outlet store. They had a few things. And uh, I think a lot of those sevens and stuff I didn't see last time. And I only been here, like, what, two, three weeks ago? So all those sevens and a couple of them um, shoes that they had on the main wall weren't there last time. Maybe they probably even had more than that for Black Friday. I know, like, when I usually come on Black Friday, they have a lot of stuff they hold it in the back and then they drop it when uh black friday come across so they can they know people gonna come in there and buy it up so maybe that's what that was from but when it wasn't a bad outing nothing that i wanted in my size uh chambray sevens if i didn't have that shoe already i probably would have got a pair of those but i already got that shoe and not double up i ain't gonna say not double up worthy but i don't double up on that so you know what i'm saying nothing is double up worthy to me um not right now anyway but uh, yeah, man, um, I think the only shoe I doubled up on this year, Jordan 1 Low um, Black Toes, because I know I'm going to rock the mess out of those, man. It's always good to have two pair of shoes like that, man. Shoe that you can almost rock with anything. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of this Nike factory outlet vlog. What you thought in here was interesting. The fam, you LeBron 7s by far was the most interesting shoe. If they would have had that shoe in my size, I would have caught. They had a 12 and a half, 13. I think I wear in that shoe. Oh, I think I actually, I think I can wear my true size in 7s. I think 8s I have to jump up a size. But yeah, the LeBron 7, I would have got them because I really like that colorway. It's dope. Uh, I like the green ones too, but I think I like the black ones a little bit more. They're kind of clean, man. But anyway, that's it. Appreciate y'all for watching. Thumbs up this video. Like, subscribe. 
uh, hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What up, Mike? Hey, we was up before, bro. Now we up. Cool, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch me so stupid, Ladera. Check out my kiss in apparel. Rich like a king of fairy, yeah. Yeah, El Capitan, they callin' me jet like I'm Sparrow. East Atlanta in my blood, the streets got me twin like Tia Tamara, yeah. Watch out with the Camaro. Stay out my lane, it's too narrow. God more, God more, stay and bless. I'm keeping my eye on the sparrow. Man of the people, you did that singing my name just like it's a carol. Cause my got the juice by the barrier. Yeah. I can't really help it, bro. They know that I'm the ish. Yeah. Get me boss of sauce and might just pull up right at wish. Yeah. LBRG me, now I'm Gucci. Gucci. Bricks. But when I step out, bro, it's 10 for 10. I don't miss. Rich. Step up, boys, 10 for 10, I don't miss.